Hello everyone, today I have my empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. This was from the second week of the YouTube collab challenge that is going on. Um, so this week was scoops and clamps. So I didn't empty any scoops, mostly because every scent that I have in scoops um, is a scent that I like and don't want to go through super quickly so yeah i didn't empty any scoops but i did use some uh, but i have a ton of clams to go through with you so um, i'm gonna try to move pretty quickly through this and not linger on anything for too long because it is a lot and i don't want this video to be crazy long like the last one um you might hear like kids screaming <laughs> they're just outside playing in the snow um i don't know why it's a super wet snow and it's very cold out but they wanted to play so they're out there and they're yelling um okay anyway i'm gonna get started i'm gonna start with the stuff that i melted and didn't finish um because there's way less of those so the first thing is Strax's acid bath. This is Boogie Be Gone Peppermint and Rosemary Mint. So this actually wasn't in my melting basket for the week, but yesterday I went through and pulled out all the scents for this week that's starting, um, which is the risky week. So I kind of went through and smelled all kinds of stuff and I was a little nauseated when I was done. So I had to put something in my tea light warmer just to ease that nausea a little bit and this definitely helped with that the mintiness of this and boogie be gone is um like her vix blend i think like the vapor rub so i love the scent um it's a great performer it's a scent that i will repurchase um, I melted some pumpkin peanut brittle. This, um, I really could have tried harder to finish because I do have a whole other scoop of this and you can tell by the label that these are older. This was actually from my very first order with L3 and I like her pumpkin peanut brittle. I have finally found my favorite pumpkin peanut brittle, which is from K and it's the actual Bath & Body Works dupe. Every other one that I've tried has smelled like this one and it's just not my favorite. It still smells good. Um, on cold, this one smells a little, a little plasticky, but that goes away on warm. And again, it's a good performer, but I'm, I probably won't repurchase this, at least not on its own, maybe in a blend, but I, like I said, I really like K's, so. That's where I'm gonna get my pumpkin peanut brittle from in the future. Um, I melted some candy cane eggnog. It just got super bright in here, guys. I don't know. Like, to me, it looks really bright on the screen, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker, but hopefully that's not too dark for you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, I melted some candy cane eggnog. I love this scent. This is another one that smells kind of weird on cold. It has this, like, off note but on warm it's just amazing it's just this creamy eggnog that's not spicy and not boozy um i've mentioned before that l3 has my favorite eggnog scent um it smells just like a cold glass of eggnog without spices or alcohol and you definitely get the candy cane in here they're like perfectly balanced and this is one that i would repurchase in the future and then i just have a couple from that small good shop this one is all hollows eve it's pumpkins oranges berries and fall spices and this it smells really good and it definitely can be melted like if you're a seasonal melter this is definitely a good fall blend but to me it's actually a little more winter um oriented and maybe even christmas because i get a lot of the orange in here so it kind of smells like mulling spices a little bit 
and that just reminds me of winter and Christmas time so this is more of a winter blend for me but it is really good and I probably would repurchase that at some point and then I melted some Krampus this is sugar cookie vanilla bean waffle cone and blue spruce I've talked about this several times I think this was in my top 20 cents of 2021 it's amazing it is that blue spruce note which I love but then you just get these vanilla scents that I think it's the vanilla bean but it's almost like a vanilla extract uh, it's just it's beautiful it's a great performer and this is one that I will definitely repurchase my ear is closed and it's like bothering me so much sorry I just took a sip of my drink um, okay, on to the Scentsy clams that I melted and didn't finish. The first one is Cherry Clove Chutney. I do really like this scent. It's a really good cherry. It's not medicinal or candied at all. It's like a really deep cherry. And then you just get the clove in here. Yeah, it's lovely. It's a spiced cherry and it's usually a good performer. I think I ended up just using some of this in one of my kitchen warmers um, when I had another scent in that I didn't have enough to fill the kitchen. So I just like, I don't know what word I'm trying to use here, but I used this to fill the void, I guess. But yeah, that was really nice. And as you can see, it was a bring back my bar. I don't know what year, I'm assuming it was before 2016 because I think 2016 is when they started putting the years on the bar. So this might've been a 2015 bring back my bar. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know. It might not be that old, but it's pretty old, but it did really well. And I would probably grab more of this if it ever came back in the future. Um, I melted some cherry almond pie. This, as you can see, once again, from the bar is super old. This was from another Sensi consultant um, when we lived in Texas. So this had to be, I want to say this was 2015 or it was 2015 when I purchased this. So I don't know how old the actual bar is. It could be, you know, 2014, 2013. I have no idea. Um, but I remember when I bought this, I really, really liked it. And then, I don't know, I melted, I think I only melted a little bit of it. And I did like it, but then as the years went on, I kind of liked it less and less. I actually have one here from 2016 also. And I had both of these in my basket because when I smell them on cold, they smell a little different from each other. So I'm wondering, because I remember when I got this one, I loved it. And then when I got this one, I was like, oh, maybe I don't like it as much as I thought I did. But then I melted some of this one um, over the last week and I actually did really like it. So this is definitely a candied cherry. It's not medicinal to me, but it's definitely candied. But then when you melt it, you get this really like nice vanilla creaminess and you do get a bit of that nuttiness from the almond it's not just the cherry yeah so i did really like this it was strong i don't know if it's one that i need to get more of in the future i'll probably finish melting through this bar and just enjoy it um and then the other one sorry this bar I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or give it to my mom. My mom does like cherry scents a little bit more than I do. Yeah, but this one just smells a little bit different. And I really don't know why. I don't know if it's just like the formulation was a little bit different. Sensi has said that they haven't changed their formulation. But I don't know. It smells a little bit different. I might just give this one to my mom so she can enjoy it and I can just enjoy the other one but I don't think it's one I need to pick up again okay that's it for the half empty so I'm gonna start into the empties and we'll just start with um Scentsy since that's where we left off the half 
of these. So the first one I have here is Black Current Bubbly. This is a really nice, like effervescent black current scent, but it's also slightly perfumey to me. And that could just be me. Sometimes fruity scents lean a little perfumey to me. Yeah, but this is one that I do enjoy and I would maybe grab this again in the future if I ever saw it, but it's not one that I need to actively search out and order. Um, I finished this clam of Boho. I mentioned, I think, I don't know if it, I don't think it was my last empties. I think it was the one before that. I had met, I had melted some Boho in my bedroom and I didn't love it, but I remember loving Boho um, in the past. So I melted the rest of it in the living room and I liked it so much more out there. This is definitely like a whole house scent for me and not necessarily a bedroom scent. I think it was just like a little too much for my bedroom maybe, but this is a beautiful scent. It's like, I forget exactly what the notes are, but it doesn't quite read the same to me as what the notes say, but I do get there's an apple in here, but it's definitely like a deeper kind of apple. And there's some spices, but it's not spicy. You don't think like, wow, this is super spicy when you smell it, but there's something in there giving it a bit of a warmth. But there's also a freshness to this, almost like, almost like a little bit of a floral or kind of like a potpourri feel, but it's definitely really nice. I do really like this. I'm still deciding if I want to put it in my club or just pick up a few more bars. Um, but it's a great performer and it's a beautiful scent. So I like that one. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can see the kids out there. There, are, My youngest is out there with his friends. So, and we have like this water right by our house that they like cannot stay away from. I'm like, please just stay away from the water. Anyway, um, the next one is Rockin' Ruby Raz. This is from back when we had like the separate category for the kids scents. Um, so this is a little bit older, but I remember really liking this scent when it came out. It's just, again, like, it's a fruity blend that's a little bit effervescent, but not too much. It's a nice raspberry, um, more like a candied raspberry. It's not my favorite, but I did enjoy it. I used to really like it. It performs pretty well. It's not one that I need to have any more of. Next one is Simply Rose, and something obviously leaked onto this one from another bar, but... I love this scent. You can see again, this is from 2016 and this performed beautifully. Like it was so strong, but it's a beautiful rose. Um, I don't remember liking this one as much in the past. I really think my nose has changed a bit, but this does have a positive scent memory attached to it for me. This reminds me of, once again, it reminds me of my Papaw. He used to have rose bushes and this, when I smell this, it just reminds me of just like sticking my nose into a big fluffy rose bud. <laughs> like, what word am I looking for? Bloom, I guess, like a big fluffy rose bloom. Uh, like a pink, soft rose. It's beautiful. This to me isn't um, super powdery or perfumey. To me, this smells authentic to rose petals, like an actual rose bush with the rose petals and you're sticking your nose in it. Like that's what this smells like to me. So this is currently available for Bring Back My Bar in Scentsy Club. Like it's one that you have to add to your Scentsy Club to receive. Um, I'm thinking about sticking it in there at least for a few rounds or I might just do um, like a separate club for some of these, like my Sensi club comes every three months. I might just do like a monthly club for a few of these and just get them for a few months and then cancel that one because I don't need a ton of this, but it is really nice to pull out, um, 
when I want that like nostalgic feeling. Also, it's a really good rose to blend with like vanilla bakeries, um, sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream, anything like that. I do like to blend it with those also. Um, okay, then I melted some pink haze. Again, you can see this is an old bar. I know some people have issues with older Scentsy bars. I've never had that problem. They always perform well for me. The only ones I have issues with are the blue colored wax. Um, they seem to turn bad faster. Um, so I just try not to stock up on those or hoard those. But I mean, I still have some in my collection that I need to get rid of because they just are starting to go bad. But other colors seem to do fine. They might change color, but the scent seems to stay perfectly fine. And that's all that really matters to me. But pink haze, like you can see how, I don't know if you can see, but it's a very yellow clam. But the scent is super strong and amazing. Ugh. So pink haze is kind of hard to describe for me. Um, I, okay, so pink haze and sugar, I feel like a lot of people kind of group them together, like they go hand in hand, and I can see why, but they are very different to me. Let me see, I think I have pink sugar in here. Um, where is it? I know, I know I melted some. Or not pink sugar, sugar, sorry. <laughs> Sugar from Scentsy, not pink sugar. Um, pink haze, sugar. So sugar to me is like the pink sugar scent. Maybe not necessarily like the actual pink sugar, but as far as like vendor wax goes, sugar is closer to that pink sugar scent note for me than pink haze is. And I think sugar is just like cotton candy and like a lemon note and it is really nice but to me it is just that pink sugar scent and I don't feel like I need to have this in my collection at all times um, because I can get pink sugar pretty easily from like any vendor anytime but then pink haze and let me see if I can just pull up the notes for this pink haze I think I like a little bit more i also think i need to turn the brightness up again um this one let me just pull up the notes so i can tell you i feel like this room is so much louder than the living room i came back here because it's brighter um and all my kids are home and my husband's home today and i can close the door back here and just not have to worry or so i thought but now I hear like 75 dogs barking and the kids screaming. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm sorry if you hear all that mess in the background. Um, okay, so Pink Haze is vanilla laced whipped cream, marshmallows, nectarines, and sweet berries. Um, and like I would agree with that. But... Yeah, I guess that's pretty accurate. But this also... For some reason to me, it feels kind of like warm and fuzzy at the same time. Like it's that fruity, sweet, like marshmallow situation, but I also feel like this is kind of comforting and fuzzy. And almost like a body care or a body spray or something like that. But it's really lovely. This is another one that I might just grab a few bars of. Um, I don't think I need to put it in my Scentsy Club, but I would like to have a couple more, bar more bars. I actually might have a couple more bars in my collection, but maybe just a couple more on hand when it hurt. Um, but we'll see. I haven't decided. I have so much wax, guys. It's like, do I really need more pink haze after I just emptied a clam of it? Probably not. Um, the next one is Angel Experiment 624. This is one that I love and would get more of. This is beautiful. It's a fruit, fruity blend, but 
I don't, and like I'm not a big fruity person, but for some reason this one just like stands out to me. And I think there is like a strawberry in here or maybe some, I don't know. There's definitely a berry. Let me see if the notes are right here. Um, experiment 624. It says a blend of goji berry, blackberry. So yeah, definitely berry with sweet vanilla cream and sugar cane. I would say that's pretty accurate. It's definitely a sweet berry scent, but I just love it. I don't know why. This is one that I'll definitely get more of. I did have this in my club at one point, took it out for some reason. I think this is my last bar. I'm hoping it comes back again soon. They do often bring this back, um, like for Valentine's day or springtime or summertime, they'll bring it back for a limited time. So if it comes back, I'm either going to grab a few bars or just stick it in my club because I do really love this. I also love Stitch. I think they're both just really good and unique blends and they both perform super well for me. So I think they really hit the nail on the head with those two. Um, yeah, I love that. I melted some graham cracker crunch. This is another one that I love. I either need to put this in my club or I already did. Guys, I added 19 bars to my club. It's ridiculous. I need to not, I need to not do that. But I love the scent so much. This just smells like, almost like warm, creamy peanut butter on a graham cracker or even like a Ritz cracker. I do kind of get that graham in there though. I just love this. It's such a warm, but it also has this like crunch to it like it says graham cracker crunch um, but I feel like you can smell the crunchiness while it's warming but it's also really warm and the peanut butter is lovely I just love this I don't even know like it has peanut butter on here obviously but I don't even know if peanut butter is in the scent description I forget what the scent description is um, hold on sometimes they call a scent something and then that scent note isn't even in uh, in the bar i don't know um peanut butter crunch yeah it is in here caramelized graham cracker uh crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean this is just oh, it's so good so good i need to put that in my club um it's a strong performer for me I've seen some people say it doesn't perform super well for them it's a strong performer for me and it lasts several hours so I feel like that's good enough for me um, and just the scent alone is enough to make me repurchase guys I am so sad I emptied two clams of coastal strawberry this is my favorite strawberry scent of all time from anyone it's just the most beautiful strawberry scent um i think this was the last of my coastal strawberry i'm so sad i might have i don't know i might have used all that i did have a room spray but i might have used it up um this is just a beautiful beautiful blend oh my gosh it's so good it is like this fresh strawberry but it has like a muskiness to it okay so to me if you've smelled peach nectar from Sensi this is the strawberry version of peach nectar to me it just I can't even explain I guess that it could be a little perfumey, but not really. It's just kind of fresh and there's a muskiness and it's like a fresh strawberry. I don't know. Let me see if I can find, okay. Earthy fruity strawberry vine and raspberry seeds over jasmine petals. Okay. So it's probably 
the jasmine petals that gives it that like musky kind of perfuminess but definitely realistic strawberry I guess there I, I might be smelling raspberry in here I don't know it's beautiful they guys this one needs to come back if you ever see this in the bring back my bar voting please vote for this like how I don't know guys I, if you saw my Instagram uh, story we keep seeing the same scents over and over again and there are so many good scents there are scents on the voting list that I've never even smelled because they haven't been around for that long like it's crazy I want some different scents <laughs> and I also want coastal strawberry to come back so I can put it in my club and then it doesn't need to come back again <laughs> but yeah it's a beautiful strawberry I mean I feel like if you only if you're like a big strawberry fan and you love like super fruity strawberry that might not be for you but for me strawberry isn't always my favorite um and I just absolutely love that scent and it's kind of the same with peach nectar I'm not a big peach fan but peach nectar is beautiful that has like a blue freesia and a musk in it I believe are the other scent notes and that's just beautiful too so they're ugh, coastal strawberry needs to come back okay anyway next one I melted is cozy kitchen I have no idea what the scent notes are for this this was okay. It was just kind of like a warm bakery spice kind of scent. Almost like a snickerdoodle maybe. But I don't know if that's anything that's in the scent notes, but that's what it smelled like to me. It performed pretty well. I wouldn't need to repurchase that. I melted some Grandma's Orchard. This one is really interesting and I actually really like it. So it has apples, pears, there's definitely a spice in here, but there's, there's also something kind of pretty in here. <laughs> like, I almost feel like you're smelling Grandma's Orchard, but you're also smelling Grandma's perfume, um, like in a good way. I really like this. I don't remember liking it as much when it came out originally, but I... I really like this. Okay, so the notes are applewood, anjou, pear. Is that it? It just says discover total tranquility in fresh applewood and anjou pear. So maybe it is the applewood note. Maybe that woodsiness is giving it a bit of like a perfumey freshness. I don't know. It's beautiful though. This is one that I would repurchase if it ever came back. I just think it's really lovely and it doesn't say there's a spice in here, but I'm definitely getting like a, a tiny bit of cinnamon or something. It's not much. It's not super heavy, but it's definitely in there. Um, yeah, that was really nice and it performs really well too. Okay, I melted some Arabian Nights from the Aladdin collection. Um, if I remember correctly, this was my favorite from the Aladdin collection. Um, I think. It smells really nice. It's... Okay, the notes say, blends exotic warm sands, bergamot, ylang ylang, and crystallized musk. Yeah, it's almost take an exotic journey through warm sands as balmy bergamot breezes carry hints of ylang ylang. Um, it's almost a little incense-y. I don't know, but it's also like really clean, like a really clean incense. I don't know it's kind of like a deeper um like a deeper scent it, it really kind of feels like 
you're like in the market district in Aladdin like late at night and there's just my camera stopped but there's just like these beautiful scents like wafting through the air I don't know it's really nice I would maybe pick this up again I think I might have another clam of it I'm pretty sure I got two um two of the Aladdin collection and it ended up not being my favorite but I did like this scent okay I had to let my cat in the room quickly because he was crying all right next one is my home you can see this is from 2016 but it comes back over and over and over and over again um this is a really nice scent it kind of reminds me it's not like super spicy or anything but it kind of reminds me of like the 90s like a potpourri or i don't know it just has that like 90s um like welcoming warm home kind of scent it's nice i've seen it so many times i'm pretty sure i have several bars of this so it's nothing that i ever need to repurchase again but it is a nice scent and a good performer okay next one mulberry bush from 2016 um look no no i don't like this this is like candied mulberry it almost smells like medicine or like a super watered down juice no i don't like that i think i melted it in my kids rooms and not a favorite um i melted some oats and honey from 2016. this one is available now i don't remember i think this is in the club exclusive bars but no this is i know a lot of people like this so please like understand that this is just my opinion i'm not a fan it's super buttery it was so buttery in the warmer it's, it's like all i could smell and i like buttery scents like buttery bakeries and things like that i actually enjoy but this just smelled like butter like you melted butter in the microwave no um i get no honey i get no oats i get nothing but butter and i don't understand who is putting tons of butter in their oatmeal like do people do that am i am i missing out on something i don't know i like like cinnamon um brown sugar on my oatmeal like all kinds of like seasonings and things but i i don't think i've ever put butter I don't know maybe I'm missing out on something but I don't like the scent of that but they had another oatmeal scent sorry if you hear my chair creaking they had a the perfect oatmeal a few years ago came back and bring back my bar and that was super buttery too I actually like that one a little bit more because I think it had like a current or something in it too um that I could smell that also but that one was super buttery too so like somebody at Sensi is all about the buttery oatmeal i just not i don't know it's not a thing that i do all right the next one is casting spells i loved the scent when it came out and i for the life of me do not know why it's i still like it it's not terrible it's a little cloying there this is like what are the notes to me it smells like apple like a sour apple um like i don't know are there even are there apple jolly ranchers like green apple jolly rancher that's kind of what this smells like to me with like some i don't know i think there might be pear in here and maybe some caramel Ugh. I don't know the more I smell it the more I'm like why like how did I used to like this okay the notes are Jonathan really the notes are apple drizzle roasted pears and cinnamon bark I am thinking it's the pear that I don't like I am learning that 
I like a very specific pair and if it's not that pair, I don't like it. Pear, for some reason, can smell very like sour to me, like sour candy. And that's what I get here and I'm not a fan. It's super strong and if you like that kind of scent, um, you might like it. It's back for Bring Back My Bar. I can't remember if it's in the scent in the Scentsy Club exclusives or in the ones that are just on the website, but I'll put my website below if you want to go see what is available. Um, this isn't one that I'm going to need to get any more of. I might have more of that already, but if I do, I don't know if I'm going to melt it or just give it to someone. Um, the next one I have is Grandma's Kitchen. This is, again, from 2016. This was actually really nice. I don't remember liking this one when I first got it, but I did kind of like it this time. So I feel like maybe it kind of calmed down a little bit. If I remember correctly, when I first got this, it smelled like, I don't know, like rubber tires or something. But now it smells like I don't know, maybe like an oatmeal raisin cookie and some spices. And almost, I almost get like a cream cheese frosting kind of note in here. Let's see if the notes come up. Um, this is an older one, so it might not be super easy to find. Oh, nuts, raisins, butter, and spice. Okay, so yeah, like a, I don't know that I necessarily get nuts, but it's almost like a raisin cookie or maybe just like raisins cooked in butter and spices. It was, it was pretty nice. I don't think I need more of it, but I did enjoy it and it performed pretty well. The last one from Scentsy is Bright Cider Life. This is a love of mine. I absolutely love this blend. Oh my gosh. And I'm not even sure why, but it's like a cider with spices, but it's different from so many other cider scents. Oh my goodness, it's so, so nice. The notes are spiced harvest cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. So I definitely get the apple and pumpkin and those like cider kind of spices. It's beautiful, but it, it like on cold, you don't even get the full extent of it. On warm, it's just like this super warm, cozy, comforting kind of foodie blend. I really get that pumpkin. Yeah, it's almost like a pumpkin cider. Ugh, it's so good. If you haven't tried Bright Cider Life and you like apple scents or pumpkin scents or cider scents or just like warm foodie scents in general, try Bright Cider Life. It is so good. I'm pretty sure I put that in my club. Okay, that's it for the Scentsy. Let's move on to, I have one from Better Homes and Gardens. Um, this is Sunlit Meadow Trail. Johnny, what are you doing? Um, I have no idea what the notes are for this, but it smelled really nice and I actually think it's still going, which is like unheard of for me and Walmart wax. Usually I get like a couple strong hours and then it smells like melted crayons. This smells beautiful though, guys, and I might have to get more of this because like if I see it, I don't know if this is one that's ever available. I have no idea how long I've had this, but when I went into my kid's room, my son's room last night to say goodnight to them, this like hit me in the face and it reminded me of Ariel from Scentsy. And that's one of my favorite Scentsy scents. Like it's my favorite Disney scent from Scentsy. It's just beautiful and 
it got removed from my club because I, I've mentioned before, I forgot to update my card information and all of my retired cents got removed from my club. So I wish they would just bring Ariel back because I would just stick it back in my club. But if they don't and I can't get any more, I would probably pick up more of this because it's very similar to me. I don't know, it smells really clean and fresh, but I think Ariel has like an apple blossom, which I feel like I get in here. But also I feel like I'm getting a tiny bit of an aquatic note in this scent. I don't know, it's beautiful. It's like fresh air, apple blossom, and some kind of aquatic note. It's really nice and it performed really well and I think I would repurchase that if I saw it, if I happen to be at Walmart. Okay, now we will go into, I just have the bathing garden and super tarts. So I wanted to see if I had the notes pulled up for the bathing garden because I don't know these notes. Um, okay, let's do, we'll start with the bathing garden and I finished this clam of Fortune's Darling in my bedroom. This is super strong, it smells really nice. It's still going and I put it in there yesterday. Ugh. So the notes are, a bottom layer of herbal lavender and creamy rose are topped by orange blossom and pedigree. I'm not sure exactly what pedigree is supposed to talk like. Talk like, oh my goodness, guys. I've had caffeine today. Maybe I've had too much caffeine today. I don't know what pedigree is supposed to smell like, <laughs> but um, I feel like I smell it here. Like I've smelled it in wax before. I've smelled it in like body care, perfume, but I can't really explain what it smells like to me. I guess it's like a floral, but it's kind of like an herbal floral to me orange blossom I get if you're scared of rose but you like all these other notes I wouldn't be scared of the scent I really don't get too much rose here I get more of like a green kind of note and the lavender it's not heavy on the lavender I don't know I don't think this is a lush type but for a while when it was warming I was like this smells kind of like lush it's really beautiful though um and like i said it's performing super well so i would maybe grab another clam of this i don't think i need like tons of it but i was pleasantly surprised by that one um this one is the tea witch and to me this is almost like chai maybe like I definitely get some I feel like I'm getting chai spices yeah and like maybe a little bit of like an herbal kind of tea note um let me see if it's on here tea witch Okay, milky chai blended with the perfect amount of spices and sweet vanilla. So, yeah, I mean, there is a bit of a creaminess here, so I guess that vanilla is where that's coming in. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, this did well in my tea light, but more of a medium performer in my bulb warmer. So, again, I would maybe grab a clam of this one. It wasn't like a love, but I did like it, so... I don't know. I'm trying to only repurchase things that I love this year, so we'll see. Um, I melted dream cake. This is like a raspberry cake situation, but I really only got the raspberry note from this. Like I get no um, bakery or cake at all. Jonathan, you are really something. Okay, dream cake is cotton candy, pink velvet cake, and raspberry vanilla cream. Um, yeah, I mostly get just the raspberry. It's almost like a black raspberry vanilla kind of scent, which I like, but they're not my favorite. And it was kind of light 
Um, so it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. This one though, sugared marshmallow pie. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I would get a jumbo clam of this. I put this here in my back room in these warmers that hardly ever perform back here because it's cold and these warmers aren't the greatest. Um, oh my gosh, now my cat is opening the door. All right, I let him out and he's probably gonna wanna come right back <laughs> in here. Um, sugared marshmallow pie is amazing. I would repurchase. I mentioned before that I love the bathing gardens. Vanilla scents, um, marshmallow scents, anything creamy, anything like buttery. She just has my favorite and this is so good. This is like a buttery pie crust with fluffy, creamy vanilla marshmallow. Ugh, and it was so strong. It was so strong. I was so surprised. Like I have melted this before and like my tea light warmer did well. In my kitchen warmers, it did well. I did not expect it to throw in this back room and these warmers and it was like 10 out of 10. So definitely would repurchase this. I have no idea what collection this was part of. I don't think I've seen it come back recently. Um, so I'm hoping it will come back soon because <laughs> I would grab I would grab a jumbo clam of that it's amazing um okay black currant sheets this is like black currant and a laundry and I don't know what laundry but it's really nice I don't think it's flannel sheets it might be let me see if it says Um, I don't see it on the list. Definitely get that black currant though. Black currant can sometimes have um, like a boozy kind of tone to me, and I do get that here. But that booziness kind of went away on warm, and it was just a really nice, deep, fruity black currant with um, like a clean laundry. I don't know if I need to get this again, but I did enjoy it and it was a good performer. Um, the next one is Deadly Sleeping, is it Draft? Drought? Drought? It's D-R-A-U-G-H-T, so I don't think it's Drought. Is it Draft? I looked it up before and I can't remember. Um, this smells really nice, so I think there's some lavender in here. I also get, like to me, I kind of get a pencil shaving note and that could lean a couple different ways, like it could lean cedar for me. Oh my goodness. Um, sorry, that was my phone. Let me see if the notes are here. Deadly sleeping giraffe. French lavender, white tea, and thyme. So it's definitely the thyme that's leaning kind of pencil shavings to me, but that um, it doesn't come across like that on warm. It's definitely more of that herbal thyme. I love French lavender. I love white tea. I will say I don't get too much of the white tea in here. Like, I want more of that. Um, but I did like this. I don't know if I need to repurchase, but it does pretty well in the warmers. Um, I wouldn't say it's super strong, but it's, like, strong enough. Charred Jack-O-Lantern. I think this is just, like, Bonfire Bliss with a pumpkin note. Um, I have come to find that Bonfire Bliss isn't my favorite scent um to me it doesn't smell like a bonfire <laughs> like i don't get any smokiness or any like embery kind of note from bonfire bliss it's just like this sweet scent to me um i think that's what i'm getting here i'm kind of trying to learn to love bon bonfire bliss for what i get from it and to stop like trying to make it this smoky scent that i want it to be all right it is charred jack lantern 
the spicy jack-o'-lantern has been dropped in a bonfire and charred black smoky and mysterious so again i don't get any smokiness here i do get bonfire bliss so if that's smoky to you you will get smokiness here but i do get the spices so it's like a pumpkin spice but i still feel like i get the pump the actual pumpkin note yeah, so it's like Bonfire Bliss with pumpkin and pumpkin spice. It's nice. I don't think I need to repurchase it. I did enjoy it more this time than I have previous times, but I still don't think I need to get more of it. The Mint Blossom. I bounced this in the bathrooms. This is really nice. Yeah, I really like the mintiness in here. But there's something something else in here that I really like but I'm not sure what it is let's see if the notes are here no I don't see the notes on the set list it's almost like a realistic mint like garden mint kind of to me it's almost yeah it's almost like you're collecting mint to put in a drink it definitely has a cooling feel to it and it was um it, it did pretty well in my bathrooms it was more of a medium performer but you, but sorry guys i'm like trying to talk too fast it was more of a medium performer but you could definitely smell it when you walked into the bathrooms like you knew it was there i don't know if i need to repurchase it but i do really like it I finished this clam of faded opulence because I got a jumbo clam of it and that means that I love this scent. <laughs> this is like a cola with spices. Ugh, I love it. It's it, it's my favorite cola scent. Um, so it says a warm, fizzy tart, clove, ginger, blood orange, and bubbling cola. Yeah, that's like accurate. The blood orange is there. It's not the first thing that comes out to me, but it is there and it does add something to the scent. But the clove and the ginger with the cola is just like perfection to me. I feel like it makes it even more fizzy. Um, I love it. Then the last one from the bathing garden, I think, yeah, is pomegranate noir, another favorite of mine. I have a jumbo clam of this, so I wanted to finish up this one. This is the Joe Malone type, oh, and it's amazing. It's just this deep, juicy pomegranate. Um, let me see if the notes are here. What is that pomegranate? Pomegranate is a very long word. Okay, ruby red pomegranate blends with raspberry, plum, pink pepper, and spices. Yeah, so I think that plum helps it to be even like deeper fruity. And the spices aren't like in your face kind of spices. They're just giving it more of a depth. This is just, it's beautiful. Ugh, one of my favorites. This was in my favorites of 2021 also that will always be a repurchase from the bathing garden and it performs beautifully okay the last vendor i have here is super tarts um i probably need to pull you guys back a little bit because i'm gonna run out of room so sorry if this is annoying okay the first thing i have from super tarts is jessica jones this is blackberry and rain this is one of my favorites i have a bam of it so i figured i would use up this clam sorry i felt like i was gonna sneeze and then i didn't um this i melted in my kids rooms it's just beautiful it's equal parts blackberry and rain, and I love Super Tarts rain so, so much. So this is always a good performer for me and will always repurchase. Then I melted 
Sandman in my bedroom. This is Red Apple Ocean Breeze, Vanilla Bean, and Sandalwood. So the Red Apple Ocean Breeze and Vanilla Bean used to be the Omen. I think it's called like Apples. App I forget, Apple Ocean Breeze or something. I, she changed the name. It used to be the Omen, but this is the Omen blended with sandalwood. And I think I like this even better than the Omen on its own. I think the Omen is a really nice scent. Ugh, and the sandalwood in here just makes it even more like relaxing to me. Um, this is a really good scent. I would probably repurchase this. I don't know if I need a clam of it, but or a bam of it, but I probably would grab a clam of it again. I really did enjoy that and it was super strong in my bedroom. I melted It's a Jolly Holiday. This is Funnel Cakes and Blackberry. This one would not be a repurchase. I really only got the Blackberry and I feel like the Funnel Cake just kind of made the Blackberry less strong. It didn't really add anything else to this blend for me. Yeah, I mean, I get like a little bit of a vanilla bakery in there, but nothing in here smells like fried dough to me. It's just kind of a creamier blackberry, but it wasn't very strong and I didn't really like it, so that wouldn't be a repurchase. Santa Claus is eggnog cinnamon like Oh my gosh, every time. Cinnamon liquor, Christmas cookies, and nutmeg. So mostly I get the eggnog and that like cinnamon note, kind of like a fireball note. So it's more of a red hot cinnamon, but I really like this. On cold, I get a little bit of a, of a plastic note, but it definitely went away on warm. It was super strong and it was just this really creamy eggnog with cinnamon. Really good. I would repurchase Santa Claus for um, Christmas next year. I emptied Jess in my bedroom. This is Rose Jelly. It's Rose Jam, Peppermint, Leather, and Old Books. This one, I'm still undecided on. There was one point where I was going to give this to my mom because I had completely written it off. And then before I gave it to her, I was like, wait, I might try it again. And I still feel that way. Like right now when I'm smelling it, I really like it. And then sometimes I get this note that I just do not like. I don't know. I'm still undecided, guys. I might have to get another clam of this at some point. Um, it was super strong. I think it's the leather that throws me off. Um, I think I'm not like a big fan of Super Tart's leather note, but I don't know. I still kind of like this. <laughs> It's kind of one of those scents that you don't really like, but you can't stop smelling. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to get another clam at some point. Um, I melted Ahoy Matey. This is Blue Sugar. I can't read it because this is one of the faded when they were like running out of ink. Um, Blue Sugar, Very Sexy Cologne, Driftwood, and Salty Sea Air. This was okay. I was expecting to like this one a lot more. It was pretty light for me and I mostly just got the blue sugar. I think I wanted a lot more of that cologne note because I do really like that scent. But yeah, this wouldn't be a repurchase. It just wasn't, it just wasn't it for me. Um, I melted Festival of Lights. This is Pecan Rugalak Cookies. Is it Rugalak? Rugalak? cookies I don't know somebody tell me um, challa bread brown sugar and cinnamon I love this so much I have no idea why I didn't get a bam of this when the crisp melts were offered I think I just forgot how much I love it it's so freaking good it's like a warm bready bakery <laughs> But I mean, you get all these notes. You get that nuttiness from the pecan. You get the bread note. You get the warm brown sugar and you get the warm cinnamon. It's beautiful. Um, I will grab a bam of this when it's offered for 
I don't know. Next time it's offered, I'll probably grab a BAM of it. I was gonna say for Chris melts, but if it's offered before then, I would probably grab it because I would melt that for fall as well as winter. Um, yeah, I love that one. It's a very good performer. Lorelei. It's not a good performer for me. Um, it did a little bit better. This time I put two cubes in my tea light warmer and it was strong. Um, but usually I put this in my bulb warmers and it's super light. It's coffee, ice cream, cinnamon, and donuts. And this is actually one of my favorite coffee scents on cold. I just love it. I love cinnamon and coffee. But on warm, like this time I definitely liked it because it was much stronger, but I also, I think it's the vanilla ice cream. I get a perfumey note from this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the vanilla ice cream because I think I have another scent in here that I have the same issue with. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get Lorelei again or not. I absolutely love this scent on cold, but on warm, it's just not what I want it to be. So I don't know, I don't know. Um, I want it now. This is Salty Sierra, Hard Candy, Sandalwood, Orange Flowers, Tonka Beans, Peach, and Mandarin. So I think this is, I want to say Golden Sands is in here and then like Salty Sierra and Hard Candy. I want to say that's what it is. This is nice. I don't know if I need to repurchase it. Maybe in the summertime I'll feel differently. But sometimes Salty Sierra is just all I can get from a scent. And I, I get a lot of Salty Sierra in here. Um, the other notes are definitely there. And I think if Salty Sierra isn't an issue for you, you might enjoy this. But for me, it can just like overtake everything else in the blend. So that was like a medium performer. And I don't think I need to get it again. Hufflepuff is... Banana, whipped cream, and pie crust. I don't know, guys. This this is the banana. This banana, like, gets in my head, like, in my sinuses. It kind of smells like rum-soaked bananas to me. I don't really get whipped cream or pie crust. I got this for my daughter because she likes banana and she's a Hufflepuff. Um... And it was okay in her room, but I just don't know if I'm gonna repurchase because that banana, you'll see, I'm gonna talk about it in my melting basket for the week. Banana is becoming an issue. <laughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll talk about it then. Um, I finished this clam of Meet Me. This is graham crackers, condensed milk, and creamy eggnog. I actually like this a lot more this time than the first time I melted it. Um, I melted it in my tea light warmer this time and it was really nice. It was like a creamy eggnog with that like, like honeyed graham cracker. Yeah, I actually really like this this time. So I might repurchase another clam of this to try it again um, because the first couple times I melted it, it was super light and I didn't really get much, but this time I really enjoyed it. On cold, I get a plastic note once again. It might be coming from that eggnog um, because I got it with Santa Claus also, but that goes away on warm. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I might try that again. My camera's gonna die. Hopefully I can get finished. This is Birds. It's Harvest Ale, Pumpkin Donuts, Brown Sugar, and Buttercream. I have a BAM of this, so I wanted to finish up this clam. It's amazing. I don't know what that Harvest Ale is, guys, but it's so good. It's almost like a deeper, like more dense kind of cider scent, if that makes any sense. Oh, it's so good. And you get the pumpkin, the brown sugar, Mm, I love this. <laughs> um, if you haven't tried birds yet, just try it. Like, get a clam of it. See what you think about it because I absolutely love that. And I've seen a lot of other people rave about it too. I finished a clam of Wolverine's Woman, sweet berries, sour cream, spice cake, and rose cream. This is another one that I'm undecided about because I absolutely love this scent, but it's never super strong for me. So I might try another clam or I might grab like a half BAM of it and see if that performs better. 
because I do really like the scent. It's just unique, but it's beautiful also while still being like warm. You definitely get the rose in here. If you hate rose, you probably won't like this, but it's not like the strongest, like you don't open this and you're like, oh, it's a rose scent. It's kind of like you have to dig a little bit deeper, but it's there and it's beautiful. I love this. Um, such a good scent, just not the best performer for me. Um, Negan, again, a scent that I really love, but I can't get it to perform super well. So I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this. It's shaving cream, ozone, clean beach, citrus, moss, tonka, and blood orange. I think it's um, stainless steel with shaving cream, maybe. Um, it's, I love this scent. Again, it kind of reminds me of my grandpa where it has that like warm, um, like masculine kind of tone to it. Definitely get the shaving cream and I love shaving cream. Absolutely love this on cold. It just doesn't perform super well for me. So again, I might try like a half bam of this and see if that does any better, but I just wish I got more out of it. Cujo is warm vanilla sugar, brown sugar, figs, and blackberry jam. So it's warm vanilla sugar, brown sugar, and fig, blackberry jam. Um, this was really good, super strong, melted this in my bedroom. It like came out of the bedroom, through the hallway, into the other rooms. Really nice, it's a really good bedroom scent to me. It's really like warm and, I don't know. I guess it's, it's those body care notes. It's a little like sultry and deep. It's really, really nice. Um, this is one that I've had in my collection for so long and I just never reached for it. And I don't know, I really liked it and I think I would repurchase that. Maybe not a band, maybe just another clam, but it, it's beautiful. Um, Iron Islands, I talked about this in the blue week. This is dune grass, sea salt, and teak wood. It's a beautiful, uh, like, you definitely get the that dune grass note and the sea salt, like I get a saltiness here. And then that teak wood just gives it like a hint of a woodsy masculine vibe. It's beautiful and it warms up even better than it smells on cold. So I do think this would be a repurchase and it performed really well. Catwoman is wafer cookies, condensed milk, mixed berries, and vanilla ice cream. This is what I was hoarding. I need a bam of this. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. <laughs> it's like Nilla wafers, like drenched, like soaking in milk. So they're like mushy. And then you put like, I don't know, strawberries, raspberries, maybe some blackberries on top and sprinkle sugar. So good, but like it's also warm. Like you warmed it up too. I don't know. It's a very like moist, warm, yummy berry bakery scent. It's so good. I love that and I would love to have a bam of that. Just a few more guys. I'm hoping my camera doesn't die. Simpsons is glazed donuts, root beer, and whipped cream. Oh, I love this root beer. So, so much. Um, and it was really good, but this one doesn't have an ice cream note. I was thinking this was the one that had the ice cream note, like Lorelei, that kind of smelled perfumey. So I don't know if it's the whipped cream in here, but I remember melting this in the tea light warmer and I would get like a whiff of the root beer and it smelled amazing, but then it was followed by like a perfumey note. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think I need to get this one again, but I, I did really like the root beer in here. All hands on deck. This is ocean, sea spray, sea moss, sandalwood, and ozone. This one I loved. Ugh, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I love it so much. It almost has like a powdery feel to it. Um, I think it's like that sea spray. It actually smells 
like sea spray but you know how sometimes sea spray can have that like powdery tone to it that's what I get here um, it could be like the ozone and the sandalwood like how everything's blending here it's just beautiful it's like fresh Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, this one's hard to explain, but I really, really liked it, and it was super strong. This was from the Parlay collection that she did, and I think this is my favorite from that collection. Um, I didn't get all of them, but of the ones that I got, I'm going to need more of this one, at least a half BAM, if not a BAM. It was really good and really strong. The next one is Paranormal. This is Mahogany Teakwood, Berries, and Tobacco Leaf. This is a favorite. I don't know if I put this one in my top 20 of 2021. Did I? If I didn't, I should have. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You get the Mahogany Teakwood, and it's not like super strong and overpowering like it can be. It's just beautiful. And then the berry note I've mentioned before is like a dried berry to me, almost like a dried elderberry. Ugh, and the tobacco leaf is here for sure. I'm obsessed with this. I have another clam of it, but I need I need a bam at some point because this is so good. It's like fresh while being earthy and slightly masculine, but not really. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. It's so, so good. Perfect for, perfect, perfect for fall in my opinion um but definitely a year-round scent it's really really good okay one more right yeah and then we're done and then i gotta charge my camera and do my melting basket <laughs> um the last one is king joffrey this is wedding cake ceremonial pie this one's okay i don't know i feel like i get a mulberry note in here I have no idea what's in the ceremonial pie. Um, throwing it around. I had to move my leg. But to me, I feel like I'm getting mulberry and mulberry is just not my favorite. I mean, it smells okay. It's almost like a white cake with like an almond extract and then like a mulberry pie. But like not much pie crust. I don't know. I feel like, um, I feel like some people would really like this. It's just not for me. I know, um, Nicole Perry really likes it. I think that's why I ordered it. Um, and like, it's okay. It's like a medium performer for me. It's just not one. I think it's just because I'm getting that mulberry note and I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I'm not liking here. I feel like I like the rest of it, but I don't like whatever that note is. So this wouldn't be a repurchase, um, but if that sounds like something you would like, I would give it a try because, I mean, it's a decent performer and other people do obviously like the scent. So that is everything I got through this week. I forgot to count how many, but maybe I'll put it in the description so you guys can see how many it actually is. I, like I said, I am loving these challenge weeks. They are helping me move so much wax out of my house, um, which just makes room for more wax. So that's, you know, a good thing in my book. Um, yeah, I have a ton of things in my melting basket for this coming week. The week we're in now, I'm recording this on Monday. I usually start my new like melting week on Monday because that's when I do my empties video. So today I'll start melting through my risky scents. Um, yeah, but I'm going to do a video on that today so you can see everything that's in my melting basket, kind of compare what I'm left with at the end of this week. Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.